Lorraine Heath, CEO of Uffcombe Academy Trust. Holyrood Academy has been part of our trust for just over a year now and we've been working together to try and create the best opportunities for your children across all the schools in Devon and Somerset. We're quite a small multi-academy trust, but we've got big ideas and ambitions for your children. We believe in academic excellence and we believe in personal growth and development and we want values such as honesty and diligence and hard work and kindness alongside a real ambition and aspiration for what young people can achieve. In the short time that I've been involved with Hollywood Academy, I've seen firsthand what a fantastic school it is and the dedication and hard work of Mr McCormick and his team in trying to create a school which works for all children, irrespective of their starting points. Hollywood Academy is a friendly school. It's an ambitious school. It's a school where young people get loads of opportunities to, to have adventures, to join clubs, to make friends, to make new memories and, and to have um, lasting opportunities which will, which will take them into their adulthood. One of the best things about Hollywood Academy is of course it's sixth form because that means that your child can start with us at the age of 11 in year 7 and go all the way through to 18 um, and beyond in their preparation for university. So I really hope that you enjoy this presentation about Hollywood Academy, that you feel that it, it offers the same values and vision for your child that you do and that you want to come and join us next year. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Holyrood Academy's Virtual Open Evening 2020. My name is Dave McCormick. I am the head teacher at Holyrood Academy, um, a position that I am extremely proud and privileged to hold. Um, and uh, as much as I would love to be able to have you all on site with us here discussing all the fantastic things about our school, um, we will have to settle for an online event this year for, for obvious reasons. So I wanted to, to just start by thanking everyone for, for tuning in this evening. Um, I think it's important um, before I talk about um, the detail around what Holyrood offers all of its students um, to outline our commitment uh, that we make to every child and every family who decide to send their, their, their young person to our school. Um, Holyrood is, is a very comprehensive school where children from any walk of life, any background, are welcomed and are challenged to achieve the very best that is possible for them. Um, and I'm really, really proud of that. So regardless of where students come from um, geographically, their ethnicity, their um, disability, their special educational needs, their sexual orientation, they are absolutely welcome here. And we, we do expect the very best for every student who comes here. So we describe that as a mission for social justice and for social mobility for the young people who come here. So um, no matter whether somebody aspires to take over the family business or to attend one of the finest universities in the country or outside of the country, um, we see it as our place to make that happen and to support the ambitions and aspirations of every young person. Um, and to make that happen, the only way that that is possible is for us to have really high expectations of what students can achieve and support them to do that. Um, and we also talk explicitly and regularly to students about what we're about as a school and what we're seeking to achieve with them and for them so that they buy into what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, and that, that translates really into what we think is, is a really positive, welcoming culture where children and adults are really proud to aim high and, and proud to aspire for those things that are challenging um, and that are uh, worthy of aspiration. Um, and, and, and underpinning that, we believe, is, is expert teaching. Every lesson, every day, every subject, for every student. So high quality teaching and learning um, and aspiration both in and outside of the classroom sit that sits at the centre of our ambition for our young people. Um, but school is about much more than that. Um, those things are really important to set our children up uh, for the best possible life chances when they leave Holyrood, either at the end of year 11 or the end, at the end of year 13, having done their, their A-levels with us. 
Um, school is also about recognising um, the uniqueness of our students, recognising their achievements. It's about memories and qualifications and experiences that they're really proud of and that help them to feel successful and valued as people so that they look back on that time at secondary school with really fond memories. And so I, I, I make no apology for wanting it all for the students who come here. And, um, you know, I think that that really is centred around providing the very best education, the very best outcomes in terms of results and also the very best experience for every student who comes here. Um, and what do we ask in return from our students? Well, we ask for three very simple things. We ask every student to come to school and work hard. We ask them to be kind to each other and we ask them to join in. So work hard, try your hardest in your lessons, outside of your lessons, giving the best effort that you possibly can. Be kind to each other, treat everybody with respect, treat everybody with fantastic manners um, and to join in, to really grasp every opportunity inside and outside of the classroom that Holyrood has to offer. And um, there are some really important people that Year 7 will get to know. Um, one is me as their head teacher, um, but more, much more important than me for Year 7 are the people on your screen. So uh, Mrs Carlisle is head of Year 7. She is the day-to-day -day, um, leader of that year group. Mrs Davison is our senior deputy head teacher and she helps uh, Mrs Carlisle to work with our primary school, uh, our feeder primary schools and the children in those primary schools to make that transition a smooth one. Um, Mrs Rose is also uh, involved in that transition period. She is a specific transition worker who works with Year 6 while they're in their primary schools and then works with Year 7 when they join us. And so she gradually fades away at the, uh, after Christmas back into the primary schools to, uh, to welcome our new Year 7s in again. And um, the most important person who, who isn't on this slide is going to be your child's form tutor. Because every child at Holyrood um, is allocated to a tutor group and they are also allocated to a house. So they become part of a much bigger group of people than just the people in their class. And their form tutor is the person they see every morning for 20 minutes who takes the register, um, does their equipment check, makes sure they're prepared for the day and also um, involves them in our tutor time reading programme, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, and so I'd like to talk a little bit about what we call the Holyrood Way. And the Holyrood Way is uh, our way of describing the educational experience that we expect our children to be able to um, experience in their time with us. And it's really about placing knowledge and the development of knowledge at the centre of what we do. And so you'll notice that you, when your child arrives with us in September, they will be given what we call a knowledge organiser for each subject. Their homework is based on that knowledge organiser and they do a piece of homework every night except from weekends and it's always based on that knowledge organiser. They get a new knowledge organiser every half term and you can see some examples um, on the Holyrood Way slide here that um, show you a little bit about what a knowledge organiser might contain. And, and that's really about... Um, what do we think is the key knowledge that students absolutely must have from that, from that subject for this half term? Um, and we believe in the value of practising that knowledge to make it stick so that it's retrieved long term and, and, and retained long term. Um, as I mentioned before, we, we've, we place reading, we place the value of reading as, uh, as absolutely a central part of our curriculum. And, and on most mornings of the week, Students have access to our tutor team, uh, our tutor time reading program, um, which is led by their form tutor. And there is a series of texts that the tutor group works through in the year um, that not only develops their reading ability and their vocabulary, but also their understanding of some prevalent issues in society at the moment. So we engage with some quite challenging texts around immigration, around racism, around um, homophobia, and these types of topics which allow young people to develop not just a better understanding of those, but a better vocabulary um, and better reading skills. So we think those are really, really important. 
Now, uh, it's important that, for you to understand, I think, that um, if you decide that you would like to send your child to Holyrood, um, that the application process can, guidance on that can be found on our website. And we've included the links here. Uh, we'll post this presentation on our website after uh, this session. Uh, parents can apply online on the Somerset County Council website using the first link and on the Academy website using the second link. It is important to, to note that um, we are at the moment full and oversubscribed in every year group. And so um, there are no reminders that will be sent to parents from the County Council in order to remind you to apply. So you do need to make sure that you, you um, click those links and follow the advice that's given and the deadlines that are given. Um, so that's, that's really important. And you can find those links um, by following that one and clicking on the information for parents and carers and then the admissions tab on our website, which I hope is made clear by these screenshots. Um, today is an introduction to Holyrood and I know that uh, you will be having the chance in a few moments to have a virtual tour of our school and hear from some of our amazing students uh, in years uh, eight and further up the school and in the sixth form about what Holyrood means to them and, and what the school offers. But we are also going to be hosting some live Q&A sessions with members of our senior leadership team in the week commencing the 12th of October next week. You, uh, if you would like to get involved in those sessions and ask questions of our senior leaders, then you can book your place via our school website. Um, and we will be doing lots more in terms of transition events in the summer. There will be a proper transition programme put in place for Year 6. We're just waiting for guidance from the government on what we are and are not allowed to do in terms of transition. Um, and as soon as we have that, we will communicate that with parents so that we make sure that that transition is still really effective, even in light of the restrictions placed on schools and society at the moment. And so I hope that this makes clear how you can book onto those Q&A sessions next week. So by going to the Holyrood website, clicking on the Year 7 and 8 Transition tab, and then clicking uh, click here to book one of those slots. So without further ado, um, I am going to hand over now to our amazing students and for you to see um, a film which explains a little bit about our academy and lets you see it in real life. So thank you very much for coming this evening. Look forward to meeting as many of you as possible at our Q&A sessions next week. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the open evening. Hello, my name is Jo. I'm in year seven. Welcome to the Hollywood Virtual Tour. So my name is Charlie and I'm in year eight. Hi, my name is Maisie and I'm also in year eight. Welcome to the Virtual Tour of Hollywood Academy. So we're now entering um, L block. This is where most of our maths goes on. Yes, but there also is uh, other classes in here. Also, so we're going to say hello to the year sevens. There is class down there, and the boys are in the so we have some of our lessons in here. Um, go on here, I think there's a year eight drama class, which is a class I should be. <laughs> right. When I deliver Hi, this miss. line, hello. Hi, miss. When Hi, I deliver, everyone. hello. Are we going to wave? <laughs> hello. So, Hello, sir. good morning, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you are right, he wanted all the power, but how was he going to get that power? So, I think that there was a lot of stairs and lots of other classes in all of the blocks. So, we're going to step out of our blocks. So, now we're on our way to DM block, which is drama and the lunch hall. Yes, yeah, so this. Is here is the lower site playground. Um, it's absolutely great for like small groups and having fun at lunchtime and break time. And there's a field, which is, well, we've got three fields, that's only one of them. Um, and we use that for like sports games at lunch times and key lessons. Yeah, the boys like to play 
So on the left of uh, DM block, we've got um, DM1, which is the um, SoundCloud Ribena room, because it's the colour of Ribena. We do all of our performances and like our main drama hall. Um, and then on the right hand side, it is the lunch hall, which is it's sometimes used as a drama class, so it's DM2. Um, and it's where we get our lunch. And on the top floor, we've got DM3 and DM4. DM3 is a computing suite. And there is a room which is called the snug where you just go so you can eat the lunch and it's just really comfy. Like small group rooms, like the loft yeah. and the snug. So, so the room is my you can spend on your food. I've only got 10p so that's not really worth very much but... Mm. So, and then I think you have a little sign to tell you to do your bag like so you know what you're doing and you don't get confused. Yeah. So, here is yeah. the kitchen. You have many different options of food. So, like, cold section with fruit and everything in a hot section with pizza and And this again is where you put your bum on so it um, takes it out of your account or you can use it. And then you can get this door. So we're going to go to the science block now, which is S block, and go and see some science classes going on over there. section of S block and in here we've got S4 and S5 and on the top floor we've got S6 and S7. That's like um, the room which is the people that work so it's here this is S5. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our water and then we're going to get our water and then we're going to get our water. Wave and <laughs> you're on film. Oil of science. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Water becoming steam. Yes, Colonel. We can call it evaporation. So it was a year seven science lesson. When we were in year seven and we were in year eight, now we do lots and lots of experiments. Yeah, so lots and lots of practicals. And you can normally you can choose who's in your group. So you can do it with your friends and it's really fun. So we do like lots of things with fire. Be careful not to burn yourself. You change the colour of fire, that's always fun. Yeah, so we're going to have So that was, as Charlie said, one part of S block. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is another. This is the second half of this block over here. Yeah. As you, as you can see, all the blocks have their letter on it. So if you look at your plan, you can see that there's no letter on it. So you won't get lost because you have they have big letters on each one. Yeah. And um, when you get into year seven, you'll be given your knowledge organizer and your um, student planner, um, yeah. which has a map of the site and has handy lesson times. So you'll never ever get lost. And you've got loads of teachers and other people around you, so they can yeah, there's always someone to ask. Right, hello, uh, again, we're going to be sat down and going to have like a little chat about like important things and about these badges and hugs. So let's start off. So as you can see, there's four different colours. There's Brendan, Quantox, Mendip and Blackdown. 
Uh, Brendan is red, so I'm in Brendan. And you get your like, subject badges for being good in that lesson. So just keep that in mind. See, just be good in lessons so you can get a reward for that after. And you can also get a like, house point. So I've got these two for rugby and English, so you can get it for sports as well. Charlie, you've got badges. Um, I'm in Blackdown House, which is the blue one. Um, I've got. Can't see them. I've got uh, French, which is MFL, Modern Foreign Languages. I've got Business Studies, I've got Religious Studies, and I've got Computer Science, which is the room that we're in now. Um, so the four houses, like Maisie said, Brendan, Blackdown, Quantop, and Mendip, uh, red, yellow, green, blue, which is probably pretty much the same as the schools that you've come from, same colours. Um, you can get like house points in lessons, um, house points for taking part in clubs, there's loads of clubs. You've got like Art club, computing club, uh, yeah. drama lunchtime clubs. And if you loads don't, if you don't like sport, then there's so no sport clubs, but there's loads of other clubs. So if you really like homework, like Charlie, you can go to homework club. And if you really like music, music club, art club, oh, there's loads of different. Ones. I'd love to re recommend the music jam session. It's oh, yeah, very fun. Lunchtime. You get to go in, use the guitars, drums keyboards, everything really, and have just a good play around with them and make some songs, music, band, everything. It's brilliant. Yeah, so I think that's done for subject buses and uh, like house points. So we're going to end on a serious note about worrying to come into Hollywood. So I'm going to talk about my experience first and then we're going to Charlie. So I was worried about being a year seven because being the littlest and you're going to be um, there's loads of other big kids, but when I came to Hollywood, I saw that I shouldn't be worried about that because it's it will be okay because there's people to help you. There's loads of different rooms, so you shouldn't be worried. And it's okay. It's okay to be worried, but you'll see when you come that everything will be okay. So my experience, um, when I came here, I was really worried about homework. Okay, I know some of you may not like homework but I promise you Hollywood will definitely change that. Homework is done in such a really good way here. It's amazing, you get to do like, different subjects every night. You have like an organised knowledge organiser with um, subject knowledge in that. Yeah. Um, you get other documents at the start of the year as well, like a planner, which I mentioned earlier, which is like to help you go around. And that's my other point. I was really worried about getting lost when I came here. Yes. Um, <laughs> you don't get lost. You, you're here for about a week and you know exactly where you're going. It's perfect. It's, everyone's here to help you if you do get lost. And everyone's just so kind here. It's lovely. Yeah, as I said, there's like, if you do get lost, your friends will know where, hopefully, they'll be with you. And like, you tutor, so you're going to have lots of your friends, hopefully, in your tutor, so you won't be alone. And you, if you are getting lost, then there's lots of different teachers dotted around the school to help you. And... Um, yeah, just your friends. So. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to seeing you when you come to us next September, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you then. Yeah, don't be worried. Bye. So bye for us. Hi, I'm Freya, and I'm a year 11 at Hollywood Academy. And hello, my name's Sue, because I'm also. Yeah, we left the Hollywood Academy. And welcome to the Hollywood Virtual Tour. Let's go in. Thank you. Thank you. This is the main reception where you come and if you want to sign in or out. And you also come here to collect stuff if you've lost anything. I do. Have your assemblies in here. You can also collect food over there, which uh, does hot food and warm food and cooled food at the gates. This is the playground. Here you can come at lunch and break. Uh, you also line up here for assembly and to go into lessons and for PE. This way.
Um, this is the LRC, and here you have lots of books and conferences. Uh, you can go in here at break and lunch time if you don't know homework. Uh, which... This is the sports hall. Uh, in year seven, this is where you get a choice to do your PE in here and some sports you're likely to do uh, basketball, football, netball, and badminton. You also have your exams in here at the end of year 11. So these are the practice rooms. Um, if you have music tuition, you can get you get them in these rooms. Drumming, flute, guitar, every instrument. And here, this is hello. 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 This is our one of our music rooms. Yeah. This is the food and nutrition room. And when you come here in year seven, you can do lots of cooking and experience new things. Uh, sausage rolls. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but mine, but okay, that's enough about yes. that. You learn lots about what to do and sometimes what not to do in here. These are cookers, uh, pots and pans, or so underneath yeah. the table, and at the end you have to wipe them down. So that's not my best part of it. Learn how to wash up, my mum loves that. What? Yeah. Um, I mean, I Okay, this is another tech room. Um, <laughs> you, this is where you do a lot of your woodwork, and there are lots of machines that you may use if you do it at GCSE in A level. Oh, yeah. no, don't forget you have to wear goggles. Most important thing for uh, tech. Lots forget to wear your goggles. If you can't do. Can't yeah. do your work. Don't put your goggles on. Uh, this is the PE office on this board. You can see the list of sports clubs and normally there are lots of team sheets up where you can see if you've been selected to represent the school at sports. And this is where you collect them normally. And over here uh, is the uh, uh, food hunt and this is where you can collect your food if you're standing around here for your lessons. Uh, I think they sell baguettes, pizzas and that's in there. And this behind me it's the turning circles where if you're catching a bus you just have to get your bus and that's two hard courts where you can play football at lunchtime and break. I went to uh, Belgium for a history trip and look around the World War One, like trenches and all that. I really enjoyed it. My favourite trip was the ski trip that runs every two years but it may run every year soon and I just had so many memories on it and learnt a new thing as well. If you're worried about Holyrood, I wouldn't worry. It's been amazing for the last five years. Well, we've both enjoyed it. I think yeah. you all will as well. Sure you will.
Welcome to Holyrood Sick Form. I'm Mrs. Chalice, the head of Sick Form here, and today you're going to have a short tour from some of our Sick Formers. Um, it's really important for you to know here at Holyrood Academy there is a seven year journey which sees you spending the last two years with myself in the Sick Form. There's a vast amount of different subjects on offer for you and a huge range of extracurricular to help you continue that seven year journey. I hope you enjoy the tour, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in emailing me. Hello, I'm Seb. I'm in year 13 at Holyrood Sixth Form and I've been here since I was 11 years old. I'm Ellie, I'm in year 13 at Sixth Form and I've been here since I was 11 years old. Welcome to Holyrood Sixth Form, why don't we just show you around? So in here we've got the canteen area for sick form and this is just used during your break, lunch and um, just after when you need to. Hi Sam! Hi! But uh, yeah, they're all really friendly, which is very friendly as well, so it's always very nice. This is the study room where you can do concentrated learning and still have a chat with your friends. Just got a um, student just getting on with the schoolwork that they need to just so they can crack on and have that sign workroom for them to be able to do what they need to. But it just provides people with what they need. So we've now got a lesson going on. We've got a BTEC sport lesson, health lessons, and we've got a business lesson going on. But this is just a computer room used kind of in your free time as well and during your free study period. So, in terms of people consuming alcohol, we know it's very, very damaging, and people over consume. So I've been at Holyrood for the last seven years, and my lasting memory of Holyrood has, was on DOB when we had to walk for a river to get to our destination. Not one of my lasting memories was going on the Year 8 Battlefields trip where we got to go and see at different memorials and it was just really remember. It was snow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, it was yeah. very pretty. Yeah, really pretty. Next year. Uh, so the one thing I've enjoyed from sick ball is not only how convenient it is for us to be able to get here, but actually the passionate teachers that teach their subjects with real depth <laughs> and knowledge. And it's just a great experience for us to be able to have those types of teachers. Next year I'm going to go to university and study chiropractic studies. How about you, Ellie? So I'm going to go and study uh, nutrition at Exeter University, hopefully. We hope to see you studying here soon. Hello, we've been asked by Hollywood Academy if we could provide just a couple of minutes video just saying from a parental perspective our take on Hollywood. Uh, so we currently have two children at Hollywood, one in year 11 and one in year 8 and I would say that all of the teachers are really passionate about their subjects and provide fantastic learning opportunities for the children. The children come back and talk about their lessons and what they've been doing and are really enthused um, and fostering their love of learning. Yeah, they've had a really good experience at Holyrood, it's probably why I've been asked to do this uh, video. Um, but they've been nurtured from, from day one, um, there's a lot of support to help them get used to the school, get to know their way around. The teachers have a real individual approach and chat to the children, um, which is really great. Um, the PHSE, um, Personal Social Health Education, is really good. They have a very sort of common sense, um, down to earth approach. and teach them all the things they need to know to make informed choices when those difficult situations arise in in life and as they get older. Um, so obviously during coronavirus lots of the children couldn't attend school during that time and the provision that Hollywood provided was absolutely fantastic so even though the children couldn't physically see their teachers they were being provided for online all their work was set there and they were um, really still felt part of the school community with lots of emails and um, exchange their work was all marked and sent back with some really lovely comments that really enthused them to carry on learning during that very difficult time. The homeworks um, managed really well. Um, they used knowledge organisers, so all the uh, subject content is is set out there, so it's, it's easy for the children to access and helps parents know what they need to learn. 
Um, and there's also lots of opportunities that our children have enjoyed at Holyrood, lots of sports clubs, drama clubs, plays, music concerts, um, different trips, trip to Cardiff, um, staying in the university lodgings, ski trip, battlefield trip. Um, so it's re- it's, and there's um, lots of different um, ways that they try and push the children as well if, if they, if those, for those that want to, um, for example in maths, and maths um, challenge club. Um, and Hollywood, I know, feel that every child should be really supported and challenged to be the best they can possibly be. And I really feel that's been the heart of our experience at Hollywood so far. And they really do value the children as individuals and really want the very best for them, which, of course, we do as well.